Hey everybody, this is Strong K with another first impressions video. And this time I want to look at Black Market, which is um actually a mixture I would say of uh you know like a business sim or economic simulation game. Uh you know, paired with uh, RPG elements and uh yeah, sort of like an exploration uh aspect to it. Um, it actually reminds me uh, of like Sid Meier's Pirates. Uh, that was sort of like the first game ever to to um, you know introduce or combine those like different aspects or game mechanics and you know make it into one game. Uh, of course it's, I'm, I'm just gonna say this, I'm just gonna give this away. This is not like nothing uh, as um, like detailed or uh, you know epic in in length as uh, pirates, but uh, I think you get a gist of it. Like it, it has like certain mechanics that work the same. You can trade. You can uh, you know um, increase your stats. You can increase your or like um, buy stuff for your ship, like weapons. You can equip your ship with uh, shields, and so on and so forth. Um, let's actually start a new game. I've played for I don't know a couple of hours here actually um, because that's it's it's a fun game. So I'm level 42 now. So I'm gonna start again here um, with uh, a new character. We always play as uh, Vincent w uh, Wake, the traitor. Um, let's just uh, yeah, let's try if we can like do this again. It doesn't really matter. Strong case gonna be on name, and we're gonna be playing. We're gonna be playing the story mode, uh, and I have to skip or no to click through the uh, introduction here. Um, right. So this is sort of like the backstory, and to be honest, uh, I'm just gonna talk over it. Uh, if you want, you can of course read this, but um, I have not actually followed the like main storyline here in the. Um, and the other uh, safe game that you just saw. Um, so I still have to do that. Um, so yeah, the game actually gives you the option to, you know, follow that or just, you know, go crazy and uh, do some trading or fight pirates and stuff like that. But I don't want to get ahead of myself here. Okay, so this is sort of like the main map screen, uh, you know, that we will uh, navigate in. We are currently here in Eridan, and uh, yeah, this is, so this is where the magic happens, basically. Uh, what we are actually required to do, uh, more often than not, is um, to land on those planets. And, you know, depending on, like, the size of the planet uh, they have, or, like, the size of the, um, the spaceport, you know, there's, like, different locales that we can actually visit. Or things that we can do. Um, I think the player menu uh, is like generally accessible from you know throughout the game. Just gives you like a quick overview of uh, what you're actually capable of doing, like your skills and your experience. Then those are the factions that we have. Confederacy. I have not actually encountered those guys. I think I'm not really sure. Pirates, of course, sort of like the bad guys, but they also have like space stations, so you can uh, do business with them. Then there's like the alien race of Koth, like uh, Brotherhood, and so on and so forth. Like uh, Corporation, the Traders, Bounty Hunters, and I think Russ Beckers are sort of like the uh, the mechanics of the whole of this whole uh, cosmology here or the whole like background. Then those are your current missions. Uh, you always have uh, the um, the main story like in here, but in addition to that, you can um, uh, accept other missions by uh, bar patrons. Um, so this is where you get your missions and also you can get more information but you know let's talk about that in a second. Port info is actually um, you know a slow bit of backstory. I have not been doing a lot of you know reading up on this although it's ger it's like generally uh, pretty interesting like uh, you know for a game like this uh, uh, the backstory is is okay you know um, so the bar, you can buy drinks to get like information out of people, uh, blah blah blah. Okay, I'm sick of other trays ignoring me, yeah. 
Right, and um, oh, spy. Let's see what he has to say. Okay, motor gang in that corner. I don't know if he's just talking out of his ass or whatever. An arms dealer. Let's see what. Okay, they promise me. Yeah, so like sometimes they give you hints, like you know where you can buy stuff cheap. Uh, you know, so like important information for the for the uh, trading aspect, and then you have like uh, those missions here, like human. Let's let's talk to the sheriff here. Uh, curtail illegal labor smuggling. Okay, uh, let's. Uh, why not accept this? Um, because we can always forfeit. Um, we had a serious problem with people trafficking via Dickens Embrace. This is Dickens Embrace. Is the um, the spaceport? Uh, crackdown on immigrant labor. F far too much. La la la. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Get a trader. Yeah. Okay, so this is probably like track and destroy ships. So this is like a combat mission. There are like different sorts of missions here where you can actually have to like um I don't know, fly around, uh pick up people or pick up some uh goods or uh go around find goods and buy like a set amount a uh, set quantity of of, you know, said commodities. They're actually like kind of repetitive. But you know, the thing is, um like each mission comes with with a story of its own, and they're like I don't know I I like the writing style of this game. They're like nicely written. It's actually cool to read them. It's just that the game sort of um, makes you like click through them, uh, and that's actually a bad thing. I don't know, but you know if you have the time and you're into this, you can you know read up on what's actually going on here. It's actually pretty nice. Um, Okay, so then the most important part of the game, the market. So this is where where the real magic happens, I should say. Um, so currently, those are the goods available to us. So we have play matter, sparkling water, livestock, and then those uh, food, titanium, burn batteries, and narcotics are currently unavailable to us because we uh, don't have the trade level to uh, obtain them. So as you can see here, player, uh, we have a trade level of one, meaning that you know our options of purchasing stuff are relegated to livestock, sparkling water, and play matter. And we can see here um, the prices uh, are also like slightly colored. So the the redder a price is, the worse the deal is for you. Like the more it deviates or the more expensive it is compared to like uh, the galactic average, I would say. Um, so 26, like buying sparkling water for 26 would be a pretty bad deal for us. However, buying play matter for nine credits um, is like a, is not the best deal, but it's fairly good. So like if we can, like I think the uh, galactic average right now or like in general is ten dollars. So let's buy nine and uh, hit buy. So we pay eighty one credits and um, you know our ship has fifty space units. So uh, the cargo space that the playmeter takes up here is nine. So we know you know how much we can actually trade. Um, Thing is, with narcotics, for example, there's some uh, goods that are illegal in some worlds, at least, and the redder, again, this becomes, the more illegal the stuff is. Um, so, um, like, from time to time, like, uh, there's going to be search parties if you approach a port or they just randomly, um, you know, you, you're going to run into them randomly in the on the galactic map, and they will search your ship. If they find stuff like that, they will attack you. Or if you try actually to sell this cargo in a port, uh, there's a chance that um, you know they'll catch you doing like or peddling illegal goods. Um, and the the more illegal this this good uh, the the goods are, the the higher the chance that you're actually gonna get caught. At least this is how I how I understand it. I'm not really sure if that is actually true, but you know it it seems to be true. All right. Um, so the mechanic. Uh, a window will let you like um, equip your ship with different things. Right now we have a bolt cannon mark one and Basset Hounds uh, missiles, which we can unequip. But why would we do that? Um, and then here we can buy uh, ships like later on in the game. We have the expendable uh, class or a scout. It's a scout class vessel, and uh, yeah, that's the only thing that we can actually afford or fly because again. You need piloting levels, um, you know, higher than one to actually uh, steer better ships. All right. Okay, that's it. There's actually a couple of things missing here, but I'm going to talk 
about that probably when we um, when we get to them. Okay, let's leave. And uh, yeah, we actually got a mission from the sheriff here, so we are uh, track and destroy ships. So the uh, blue arrow here indicates um, our mission goal. And yeah, just like basically click your way through this map, and um, like green ships or ships that have like a green. Oh, our navigation skill's not high enough, man. I totally wasted. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, is he coming back? No. So yeah, those red routes here are like unsafe routes that are frequented by pirates and, and the like. And those uh, blue routes here are like main sort of um, trade routes. I ah, pirate. Okay, so we um, actually encountered a pirate, so we can choose to either fight, back for mercy. If we back for mercy, we have like a notoriety... Um, score like a, a stat that is that is notoriety and um, if we beg for mercy this is gonna go down and by successfully defeating pirates uh, or other ships um, this is gonna go up we can try to bribe him into uh, you know not attacking us or threaten him and you know try to like ward him off that way but we're gonna fight uh, okay let's see so how this works is you have your various weapons here which you can select with one or two or three if, if we had three and then can we pause this no we can't and then you simply like click on the um, on the enemy ship and you see like at times they, they lose little crates and if you hover over them with your mouse cursor this is loot that you can pick up and then um, oh this is like an escape pod yeah let's 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 let him get away um, so the more crates you're actually ch uh, able to um, gather here, or like hover over and then collect, the better your uh, your loot result is going to be. So now we have 10 play matter, which we can sell, plus 231 um, credits or currency or whatever. Yay! So level 3 reached. So we can actually increase our, uh, our stats here. And what we're going to do definitely is... Uh, you know get navigation up and also trade up so we can we can buy and sell uh, you know those sweet sweet commodities and you can already see here oh yeah and like once a ship explodes oh shit more pirates you can actually go after those crates because they also uh, contain uh, most of the time like trading goods that you can later sell and you have to like physically fly over them to collect them. This is what I was trying to do, but I was not aware that, you know, there might be more pirates here. But yeah, okay. Oh, they're already damaged. Because the thing is also, like, if you travel along those um, pirate uh, trade routes, uh, your ship gets damaged by asteroids and stuff like that. Mm. So that's actually, like, there's, a, there's like an inherent danger to doing that. Like, in addition to those pirates. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you level up pretty fast, like... Okay, and uh, let's um, yeah go for weapons because we probably need better weapons um, earlier than a uh, new ship. So let's do this. Okay. Uh, ah, oh, see, and sometimes they get stuck here. So yeah, we got four more play matter, and let's see what this crate contains. Sparkling water. Hmm. One for me, and one for you. <laughs> All right. So now our ship is damaged actually, you can see that here. This is actually our uh, experience bar, this is the notoriety I was talking about. So we can choose to dock, let's dock in Turin. Uh, because this also is the next stop for the story mission, but you know, it's not triggered because we're currently on, on the sheriff's mission. So here we can actually see uh, ship items that was missing on um, the other planet. Where we can actually buy uh, further equipment for our ship. Um, such as a bolt cannon. Uh, let's buy, uh, let's go to the market actually. Oh, luminars, they're cheap, but we don't have the, uh, required. Oh, food is cheap here, this is cool. Let's sell sparkling water and play matter. And, uh, ha, look at that. You also get experience for, like, successfully trading stuff. Uh, let's, uh, max out on this one. Yeah, let's trade first. Like our weapons are cool. Like we can always come back and buy these um, the the things later. Although we we are on a uh, bounty hunter mission. You know what? Let's go back, sell the stuff, and to play matter for free. 
uh, go to Arida and sell our um, food. Yeah, and then there's like at times, you know, like like you you know from pirates, maybe um, there are stuffs or things going on, like I don't know, civil unrest. Okay, so they need mediquit play matter, which we have, and steel foam. So you know, if you sell them, see, <coughs> sorry, I'm a little sick. Um, so the the price we're selling at now is uh, blue, which means that was uh, this is going to be a huge profit. I mean, it's going to be a profit anyways because we basically just uh, collected them from from outer space. So and then let's also sell our food, and we already have eight thousand uh, whatever. What can we? Let's buy some titanium and uh, sell it on Turin. Get the gun, and then go after uh, this guy here. Should be able to uh, track him down now. Okay, market, sell the cargo. Yeah, and actually that's a pretty sweet deal. It's like a very good acumen on our part here. Okay, let's head over to uh, the ship items uh, person and let's get the bolt cannon. So there's basically uh, different types of weapons that you can get, like tractor beams and those tight bombs. Mm, they go actually in those uh, fields here and they're one use only. So with the tractor beam you can actually, if you activate it, you uh, collect all the uh, loot that's like flying around and you know that you have to hover over those little crates. Flak cannon actually is good against enemy uh, missiles and uh, mines and such. Bolt cannons are like straight up cannons like you just saw. Uh, right, so let's um, let's buy a bolt cannon mark one. Go to our mechanic and have this shit equipped. Nice, okay. And then let's go after uh, the bad guy here. Oh, there's a pirate. Uh huh. Okay. Nah, he's escaping, but we're gonna catch him. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah, he's actually like a tough cookie. Maybe uh, he's <laughs> out of our league here. Okay. He's hiding behind the thing. Okay. And. Ah, uh, dude, this is gonna be. It's not that easy. I got the loot, though. I got the loot. I got this loot as well. Uh, he's gonna, dude! Fire! 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 Yeah. Okay, we got him. It's like barely, barely got him. Okay. And yes, yeah, cool, cool. So let's actually uh, get our NAF skills up, and then weapons. Okay, there's pirates here, and we're, like, almost... Like, we're on the brink of destruction here, so uh, let's head back to Turin, actually. Well, let's head back to, uh... Eridan. And, uh... Because that was it, right? Okay, so, ships are always repaired, and this is, like, automatically. There's nothing you can do against that. You cannot choose to have your ship not repaired. Okay, talk. come back when you're done. Oh, there's more than one person that we need to track down. Oh yeah, right, there's another error there. So let's do that really quick. Oh, uh, uh, he's hiding, man. The storehouse. Let's fight the pirates. Because I have a pretty good feeling about this. And then... Uh, he was hiding behind this asteroid here. Materia Eterna, is, I think, at this stage of the game, it's actually pretty useful. Oh, and we just level up. So this happens a lot, actually. Like, later in the game, um, you know, this is not going to be as frequent anymore. You know, you gotta, you just got to take my word for it. Ah, uh, yeah, we should have... Whatever. And we're not even, you know, that badly damaged, actually. Loot. Oh, this is going to be even tougher. Because he barely takes any damage here. Like, he's not attacking, and I'm just afraid that he might be preparing, like, for, like, a super intense strike here, but so far, so good. Okay. Loot, loot, loot. Let him get away. I don't care. Yeah, that definitely could have ended better, man. So, track and destroy ships. Well, let's go back to the storehouse. And, uh... Do we still have some cargo that we can sell? Oh yeah, this one thing here, cool. Uh, so what are we getting? Can we like... 
scoop up everything here and yeah, nothing really yeah nothing really on sale let's go to Valdos oh okay this guy's coming at us but uh, okay touring jars reduced price for touring I think we cannot yet acquire touring jars wait hold on heavy weaponry also on sale uh, yeah we could actually buy that Let's do that. Although it's like slightly illegal, we might run into trouble here. And right now with our ship, we don't have the means to uh, fight the uh, law enforcement. So let's see how that goes, right? Oh, we have some loot here if everything else fails. Okay, it's partially blocked by this asteroid. Ah, yeah, he's launching some fighters at us. But, l okay. Asshole. Okay. Oh yeah, and we leveled up again. So yeah, this is actually how it goes. And when on weapons here, okay, return to the sheriff. That went better than I thought. Okay, and then let's first head to the market. Ah, oh, this is this would be a pretty bad deal, so we're not gonna do this. Oh, they actually also offering heavy weaponry. Uh, okay, let's go to the bar and collect our... Uh, yeah, it's very nice of you. 5,000 credits. Okay, let's go to the market. I mean, since we already have heavy weaponry, right? Wouldn't hurt to further invest. No, let's not do that. If they catch up with the stuff, I'm just gonna buy a neutrinium ore and then try to sell this, I don't know, on... Where were we? Where's where's everything? Whore, maybe? <laughs> Whore. Hyperinflation. Oh, okay, so, uh, that actually is pretty cool. Let's sell this shit and then... Yeah, nobody caught us. Nice. That was a cool move. So yeah, th so that's basically it. That's like the gist of uh, Black Market. Um, I probably should mention that um, there's also also other areas that you can explore. There are uh, wormholes to like other systems, um, but it's basically like the same thing. Like you have like you know certain planets that you can uh, go to, do trade with, uh, or do business business with, and then you know go back and forth. Uh, enemies are going to be stri uh, slightly stronger in those systems, but, you know, not necessarily that much. Uh, which also brings me to the, uh, yeah, it's like the, the downside of the whole thing. I mean, it is pretty fun and it's highly addictive, uh, because, um, oh, let's, let's hide here. Um, because, um, you know, it's like a trading game. We already have 62,000 credits, so we can, like, you know, go here and see what we can get next oh we can get a bolt cannon mark 2 so let's buy that go to the mechanic uninstall the bolt cannon mark 1 equip bolt cannon mark 2 and then ship items sell our old bolt cannon at um, no loss and uh, at, let's actually fight the pirate to see how the uh, how the bolt cannon is doing and as you can see it's like this it makes all the difference like the new bolt cannon is just a shit. Although there's like four ships now, we have no problems whatsoever taking them out here. Right. And let's level up here. Okay, weapon six, nicely done. Let's go back to war. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, let's go up here and see what's up here. Little Bop is dead, unfortunately, but there's stuff. Sparkling water, hmm. Delicious. Okay, Sigma Con is like a, a space war for something. We can buy new ships here. Um, so yeah, it's like this is actually um, the game is. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say pretty easy, but it, it definitely has some issues with the uh, difficulty curve. Let's put it that way. Why is that? First of all, um, the trading is actually pretty. Uh, you know, like. 
uh, the good thing is that by indicating uh, the price uh, level of all those goods, you know, that makes stuff easier for you. Because what I hate about those games is like when you have to really crunch the numbers, like you write down where they sell stuff, at what price, and then uh, you know you have to like calculate your profit margins and so on and so forth. So you can basically okay, they they selling Turing jars for seven thousand. That seems to be okay because it's blue. Let's buy it, and then you're gonna make a profit anyways. Like if you know, sell it for um, at a um, yellow or white price here, you're basically good to go. Um, that also allows you though to make quite a profit in a very very small time. Like we already have fifty three thousand, uh, which is you know a considerable amount because uh, we could already buy the uh, the cubicle class if we uh, chose to do so. And um, second of all, as you you know, we're able to see the um, the combat is really easy, uh, even from the get-go. I mean, with the like very basic um, uh, setup of your ship, some enemies may be difficult, like more difficult than others. So you saw like the first bounty hunter mission that we did. The ship, like we had a, you know, it put up a pretty tough fight. I I um, I assure you that with our uh, current uh, setup here with the other cannon that we just bought, like the uh, what was it? The uh, no mechanic uh, bolt cannon mark two, that would have been no problem at all. Like we would have just uh, you know smoked that guy. So uh, and this is actually true for like a you know large part of a game. Once you have like a decent setup, and it's not even like the very best one. Like a mark two. Uh, maybe I can show you um, my other safe game here. No wait, let's click on player. Was that player menu? Quit. Okay, start. And then level forty two. And I don't even know where I am. I s you know, see, I got another ship already. Let's just uh, heal up real quick. Play matter. Do I have anything in the... Uh... Oh, I got heat sinks. Cool. And you use like a 14 million bucks. Uh, which is insanely... Uh, an insane amount, actually. Okay. Uh, let me just illustrate what I mean. You see those big-ass ships here? This is like no problem at all. It's just a matter of seconds. And neutrinium ore, we also got that. Um, the thing is... Like, this goes on for a pretty long time, and then you have, like, a jump, sort of, in, uh, like, both, like, you know, your financial means, because also 6 million for the uh, Hulk-class Aegean ship, is uh, you know not all that that much Coriolanus. What we what do we have? We have the Caliban class, right? Two hundred cargo space. I could actually go for the uh, whatever. However, Aegean, however that is pronounced, because it's like the same hull basically, slightly uh, uh same weapon slots. Wait, this is twelve. Why is this? I don't I don't get this. This is weird. Um. So yeah, basically, it's like you can choose like between the basic class, and then you have, um, or like a, a, a basic uh, a layout here, and then you have one for um, for combat because your your hull is stronger, or for uh, you know trading where you have more cargo space, and that's basically the difference. Um, I think this holds true for all the classes here, the barge class. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think so. Like sort of like that. I'm not. Yeah, oh, whatever. Um, you know, you can go <laughs> figure this out for yourselves. Um, right, and then there's... Um, and we actually saw this ship here. I think, just passing us by. That was, like, disappearing into this direction, actually. And I don't... Yeah, this guy. Uh, those... Uh, I don't know what the class is actually called. They're, like, tough as nails. And they're really hard to beat. Uh, if we actually can, I think we're gonna die here. Well, let's just do that, you know, for shits and giggles. Um, oh, this is... Oh, yeah, I should have mentioned this, actually. You can also uh, orbit, um, you know, uninhabited planets, so you can scan mine. Like, scan, you, you're gonna uh, encounter, like, uh, or you're gonna find one random encounter. Mine is gonna give you some uh, resources which you can sell. It's not actually worth it, because it takes time. You have to come back, collect it, and usually it's, it's not even worth the effort. And then you can just leave. What is this good for is actually you can hide from, um, you know, bounty hunters if they are on your tail, which also can happen. Right, let's try to fight this dude, and this is going to be hard. You know, nothing is going to happen here. Oh, let's try our bombers. Well, actually, it's not really true. But let's see how fast he's able to take us out. 
Oh, cool. So I'm already past that point where where um this is actually an issue. Uh, what should we invest in? Let's invest in piloting. It doesn't even matter at this point. That was that went better than I thought. Okay, like those ships. It, it works like that. There's like certain steps. Like if you like, you're either uh, you know below this step where you have absolutely no chance of beating this guy, or like you're above it. And I think right now I am actually above this, where uh, you know they are no problem at all, which seems to be the case right now. So like the difficulty with the um, the combat, you know, would really benefit I think from some further balancing where this uh, does not happen because it's actually pretty easy. You just you know buy or like collect money until you can buy the uh, cool weapons. Then you have to level up uh, until you can actually um, you know also use them. Let's go to Dante here uh, to repair and um, and then you can you know seek out those enemies and and just uh, you know blast the living crab out, crab out of them. So yeah, that's how that works. And you know the same is true for um, for um, training goods and actually Dante doesn't have a marketplace why not is beyond me let's go to another system here and uh, the leaf side dead was this uh, this is a pirate ship okay pebble dash um, probably we can do some business here all material is selling well until stocks can be replenished do we have anything dude yeah it's cool because you can even do 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 just like trade here so why what would you be giving me this information. Let's go to the Airhead Orbital Facility, which is controlled by pirates. Um, okay, and let's just sell all this crap here because we just found it. Right, uh, and let's buy this. So, this is actually like the strategy to go, like from the very beginning. Uh, like, max out on uh, your trade skill and the piloting skill, or the navigation skill, so you can access all the ports. And you know you can access all the goods, and then just like trade like crazy, and you're gonna have like money, and you don't even know where to spend it. Basically, what you have to do is just save it until eventually, you know, if you have the piloting skill, you can just buy more ships because that's the most expensive thing. And one of those, uh, you know, big ass ships that I was just fighting, and I, you know, where I was not really sure if I would uh, actually beat that guy. Um, they are like in the neighborhood of like 50 million credits, so that's like I mean this is like a long shot. So I I would have to grind. Uh, forever and ever and actually there's no need because there's like no enemy at least to my knowledge that would require me to have the ship as, as you know as you um, just were able to witness because I uh, with my current setup I can uh, you know already take on uh, those guys so yeah it is fun but then again you know you start to realize and actually sooner than later like you go, you start to realize pretty fast that uh, you're basically just grinding on I mean what I'm doing right now is actually completing the missions just to get like the feel for the backstory of the whole thing then also I want to complete the main storyline to you know discover the story behind this stuff but um, the game actually um, yeah is pretty easy like it's not easy per se but because you know there's like those those difficulty steps or like those those um, increases in, diffi in the difficulty curve that you uh, will have to overcome. But once you're over that, you know it's not a problem for you. Like if I went back to the first sector, uh, because we're I think in I don't know where exactly, uh, I would have like no problem at all. Just like rampaging rampaging through the uh, through the sector and like killing pirate after pirate ship uh, because. Uh, it's actually that easy right now for me and uh, you get there like pretty early on in the game I think with the other safe guy I could already do that um, the thing is that the asking price for this game I mean it's fun it's uh, cool like I like the uh, the graphics like the visual style is nice you know it, it's not doing anything too fancy here like you know it's nothing 3d like but the game mechanics basically work uh, and you know the graphic goes with it like the combat system is simple but you know interesting engaging you know mm, I think design wise uh, the game does a lot of things uh, pretty well it's just a difficulty thing that you know will leave you sort of like yeah at first it's gonna be cool because you're totally gonna own the sector you're in and you're gonna be like yeah I'm gonna hunt some pirates and you know whatnot uh, but then after a while you start to realize oh well why am I actually doing this uh, because it's going to be a grind pretty soon. You're just going to f fly from system to system, buy the most expensive uh, commodity that is actually uh, on sale at a blue price, and then just, you know, travel somewhere else and um, uh, sell it. 
and you know nobody can actually harm you like, nobody can touch you because of your uh, you know superior firepower like even if you deal in uh, prohibited goods like narcotics or arms or slaves servants I think they're called uh, and somebody actually catches you like the law enforcement you know you will have no problem uh, shooting him out of the sky or this or space or whatever so um, yeah that's it Asking price for this game, I was going to mention that, but I didn't, but now I'm going to do it, uh, is $14.99, which I think is actually a lot, to be honest. Like, it's a cool game, it's good, I like it, but uh, $14.99 is actually a lot. I'm not really sure if um, the developer of this thing, a uh, guy that goes by the name of Paul Greasby, I think, um, he he designs, like, if he's got a webpage, uh, I think Pharma Gnome dot com or something like that where you can uh, you know take a look at all the games that uh, he uh, actually is is in the in the process of making or has completed so far you know black market being one of them and, but it is actually distributed by I think big block games or something you saw the logo in the beginning you know in the loading screen um, so I don't know like who actually decides the price because most of the stuff that the guy does is actually for free uh, which is cool, and some of his games are really nice. And I'm actually thinking about doing like some yay, it's free uh, episodes on stuff that he's done. Uh, whenever I finally get around to to doing them, so uh, yeah, there is a free uh, online version, like a flash version of this game. I think also like a demo that lets you level up to level 32 in all of your stats, meaning that certain areas you know won't be accessible to you because you need the navigation skill to travel further than that um, I, yeah because like I, I really think it's a, it's it's not a bad game but you know uh, I think if you play this demo extensively you basically get the gist of it like if you're interested in the story and how that that stuff goes you you should buy the game I guess uh, but um, I think you'll you'll know pretty soon if this is for you or not and if it's worth spending uh you know fifteen dollars on this one um for me i don't know like it's a little bit too much simply because you're gonna be um you're gonna find yourself grinding and once you realize you're actually doing that and nothing else you know it makes you wonder hmm, why am i actually continuing like to play this but you know that being said it's a cool game i'm going to post the links in the description as always um uh, and also as always i would like to thank you guys for watching hope you um found this interesting and I definitely hope to see you next time on my channel. So long and thanks.